Hey, Brian from quantlabs.net here. I uh, just wanted to bring everybody up to speed on what I've been uh, doing. Uh, I've managed to successfully co-generate pretty well any model from Simulink that I want. Um, as long as it complies with Simulink and, and it can co-generate without Simulink errors before I uh, uh, co-generate. So I have to verify the model first, obviously. Um, now, to be able to co-generate is one thing, and then to be able to import it into something like a Visual Studio is another. Um, I've spent about two days figuring out how to do it. Um, and I've got a bunch of links on somewhere on the internet I've discovered. Uh, there was some combination of errors that I came across, but I managed to put together my own posting for my quantlabs.net premium membership with a video uh, showing them how to accomplish this uh, uh, really important task. So basically what it does is you have your model from Simulink, and then you can... Um, create and co-generate uh, a, a C++ or C um, with a Visual Studio solution file. Um, from there, there's some modifications you need to make within the Visual Studio project. Um, there's some, well, the particular version of MATLAB I'm, I'm running, there's a weird bug where it doesn't translate some of the files into the dependency include uh, uh, settings uh, for it works okay in debug mode but not in release mode so things like that plus you have to also include uh, some preprocessor um, definitions as well um, but I managed to create a DLL now with these links that I mentioned earlier you can also uh, be able to take your DLL and then have a C, C sharp application read the model or the really it's a, a C++ DLL but it's a model from Simulink so it's all now within an application which is leading me into my high frequency trading platform so what I'm saying in a nutshell is I'm able to create a model uh, from Simulink and then be able to code it generate it into a C++ DLL right so now, my next task, which I've already verified that it should work, is to be able to take the model that I've generated, the C++ DLL, and then be able to have my test application, be it in C Sharp, which I'm looking at, uh, be able to read it and access it and do things with it. No different than an API. From there, in the C++ Sharp uh, application, that's where my code will reside in being able to... Um, uh, to be able to read in from IQ feed through my inflow uh, software component that I demonstrated uh, quite a while ago, last month actually. Um, once I get that working, I got to do the other end, which is the outflow. And again, that's going to be in a C sharp um, application as well. And I'm choosing C sharp because it just is a lot easier to code with than C plus plus. I mean, the models in C plus plus. It, the code is quite tight. Um, I'm quite, not, I won't say impressed with it, but um, it doesn't look like it's too outlandish in terms of cogeneration, and it's quite, quite good, um, and uh, it's quite clean. Uh, the other nice thing about it is part of the configuration of when you generate a C++ uh, set of, uh, or let's call it a Visual Studio project, and you're converting it from a MATLAB Simulink into the C++, the configuration is quite powerful enough where you can create a report. Not only that, but you can translate all the code, all the comments from the Simulink models uh, with the block uh, diagram references. On top of that, also if you are using in your real-time analytics pr uh, process, you can include any MATLAB uh, functions uh, as well. So if you put comments in that MATLAB function, which your real-time analytics component uses within MATLAB and Simulink, as part of the process when you co-generate it into C++, you can now include your MATLAB code so you can easily trace it back to your MATLAB within the C++. It's very cool. Um, I verified that. I've posted another thing for that on to my membership. So as I'm moving towards being able to now have my model, 
in C++, which I have now done, um, be able to have it read or have my, again, I, I'm just going on again, repeating myself, the C-sharp piece, be able to read the model and then be able to interact with that model with the data as it's coming in and at the same time being able to process and analyze in real time that data. And then from there, be able to uh, use the DLL to be able to make trading decisions and execute the trades through the outflow software component. Once these two tasks are done, it's safe to say we've got ourselves a trading platform. Is it HFT ready? Mm, it could be. Um, I, I don't see why it wouldn't because it's C-sharp. <clears throat> you know, I could still do the same thing in C++. But again, I'm just trying to get this... Uh, to mark it as fast as possible instead of pulling my hair out with C++. But C Sharp can do the job just fine. I'm trying to find out if there's any performance hits if I did it in C Sharp versus C++ on the inflow and the outflow part of the C++ model. If you're not confused, um, let me know. I'll try to explain it another way. Um, but uh, all I can say is it's a good news so far and uh, we're getting there getting really close because um, we got the model now in C++ from Simulink and that's the cool part and now being able to have the data get read right into it and that's real-time data and be able to process real-time analytics at the same time and then once we have our trading decisions be able to pump out our ex uh, execute our trades um, so Sawyer Nara I'm hoping to report back in a few days on that and if we do have that, we have ourselves a nice platform to kind of play with at least the primitive components and then be able to play with the Excel end of it, um, you know, fancy Christmas lights as I call it, and uh, do the same with the outflow uh, through the TWS uh, Trade Worker Station, uh, which is the Interactive Brokers Client. So we're getting there, and I'm kind of happy about it. Anyways, as I said, soyanara, have a good day.